So we're going to bring uh, Wes French back out as well to present our uh, next next award. Having a job and um, working on. Come on out, Wes. Let's uh, let's bring up our next one. I wanted to. We have a variety of different ones. One of the things Warren had said was seven of them, but we have individuals, ambassador of the year, and the president's uh, award of the year. So Wes, go ahead and take over again. Thank you. Well, I will be brief, but I mentioned earlier that one of my third goals was to increase our, our legislative uh, engagement. And the person that is going to win the President's Award has done some amazing things for Klamath County and for rural Oregon, really, to be honest. Um, this person was able to see problems, to come up with a simple and effective solution energize the community and the board and get basically boots on the ground up in Salem uh, to make a positive change for Klamath Falls. So there was a lot of people involved with the Government Affairs Committee. And by the way, the Government Affairs Committee is part of the Chamber of Commerce. It's a smaller committee on that. But their real job is to do exactly what I've been talking about. So a couple of the, the short list things that this committee and this person has directly been involved in was organize the first ever Klamath Day at the Capitol. So in the past, we've gone up with Medford, we've gone up with other southern Oregon cities, and really we didn't get much traction out of our uh, elected officials up there. But when it was a Klamath Day and you stop in somebody's office and talk to them, they are very, very receptive of what our views are down here. And it really opened my eyes to government and how things really work. And that's not so much what you see on social media about this person said this and this person said that. But when you're physically talking to somebody, you can get a lot done. Uh, and they see your view and you see their view. This, uh, the Affairs Committee and this person also convinced uh, Secretary of State Richardson to audit the Oregon DEQ water permit process. There was. Water, or there was permits with the DEQ that were over 20 years, either in temporary status or not acted upon. And it's completely ridiculous. But this person saw the need to, to get there and, and get some, uh, Secretary Richardson involved. And Secretary Richardson was immediately receptive to this and ordered an audit of the DEQ. Another first for Oregon and possibly even the nation, the GHC with this person's leadership uh, devised a idea to engage the governor and say, we would like to have some say in who our next DA is. Because by the way, the DA is an elected official, uh, or I'm sorry, a appointed official, and it's a gov governor appointment. And so uh, by getting involved and, uh, and the governor agreeing to let Klamath County and, and Klamath leadership be involved, we actually picked the person and uh, that person was actually appointed by the governor. So that's a huge win for Klamath County and, and really for small counties uh, and rural areas all over the United States. And by the way, say hi to our DA. I, I did see her here tonight, so welcome to the uh, gala. I could go on all night uh, about the items and topics and, and things that this person got done, but I would really like to just get right into the award, and that is without this person, the Government Affairs Committee, and then one of my uh, goals for the year would not have been near as successful. So, the committee was directed by and led by this year's winner of the President's Award, Mr. John Longley. Come on up.
Uh, you're right, you can't see anything out there. Um, I do think the GAC was uh, very successful this year, and I think it has a lot of momentum. Uh, it'll carry on next year with uh, Joe Spendolini in the leadership. Uh, the key to this uh, is not anything really that I did. It was just really a strong team. We had a lot of uh, strong individuals on it with tremendous expertise in the areas they had, connections uh, throughout the state. It just absolutely amazed me. And so uh, there is no better feeling than being on a strong team. And uh, that happened this year. So thank you very much. John Longley, congratulations on the award.